Hello guys, there is the time and date. This is going to be a quick look at my Epco Inch Line Elevator Lantern. This is going to be a look inside. First start the outside panel, you can see here. And this thing is brand new. You can see it is steel. Right there. And I did punch the hole out in the top. So that way the wires could feed through. Down here is your classic Epco Gong 48 volts part number 70P no 70B07-P03 48 to 120 volts and brown is up red is come uh, red is down and black is communication I mean common yeah not communication and that just goes in there and you can see I actually got this custom panel from a local metal worker and listens to the gong going down and up and right here in the middle we have our elevator actual LED indicator now this is rated from 20 to 130 volts AC and DC again the same coloring applies there is the two 9 volt batteries I added inside the panel. Now in here, I wired up with several hubs you can see here. This goes to the back of the buttons. I think it's like negative, positive, and then normally open, normally closed. I'm not too sure. But anyways, we have the green wire going right here, and this is a negative terminal. And all of the components are hooked up directly to this right here. And it goes to the battery too. And uh, the two components inside the lantern are hooked up to it. There's a tag. Can I see this Series 7400? Got it for $50. Now this red one here is the... Let's see here. The red one is going down. Yes, it is. it's the one going down, and this other one here is the one going up with the brown cables, and this tiny one here is just for the buttons so they can light up when pressed. And that's pretty much it for a quick little look inside my Epco Inchline Lantern. I'm going to do a separate dedicated video test of it, but I'll just give a sneak peek at the lantern. down and up and that'll be it watch for a separate test video coming soon